If you love Schitt's Creek and are very sad it has come to an end, here are five other shows or movies totally worth checking out on this week's Binge Guide. What's up guys, Naz here coming at you from my couch and with the surprise hit turned Emmy nominated show Schitt's Creek coming to an end this week, all we can say is, ew David. So if you're bummed Schitt's Creek's over just like I am, here's what you can watch next. Starting with our certified fresh pick, Parks and Recreation. This mockumentary about a Parks and Rec department helped launch the career of a certain star lord and after struggling with ratings in the shadow of The Office, it's gotten a second win now thanks to Netflix. Schitt's Creek fans will love it for the small town aspect and probably for the same reason critics loved it over the years as they've called it heartfelt yet hilarious and snarky yet good natured. That's also on my Tinder profile. You can get through all 125 episodes in just under 46 hours and it'll make you wish you spent even longer in good old Pawnee, Indiana. Up next is our under the radar pick and that's Happy Ending. A Chicago set sitcom following the lives of six young urbanites trying to figure out the ropes of adulthood. Aren't we all? Much like Shits, this one has a great ensemble cast that includes hilarious performances from people like Casey Wilson, Damon Wayans Jr., Adam Pally, and Alicia Cuthbert. Critics have called it thoroughly silly, yet consistently funny. With only three seasons, getting through this one will take you about 21 hours, and it's even better if you watch it with your closest friends, just not in the same room or six feet apart. Coming in with our brand new pig is the Apple TV Plus show, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. This one centers around a team of video game developers attempting to run a popular video game. Similar to Schitt's Creek, this show features all kinds of people from different walks of life trying to coexist in the same space. And as the critics have said, it stands out for exploring the gaming industry with intelligence, thoughtfulness, and sincerity. This half hour show only has nine episodes so far. Make it a fun and really easy binge, even if you don't play or know anything about video games. And for our throwback pick this week, we're gonna head back 20 years to the certified fresh film, Best in Show. A hilarious comedy about the cutthroat world of dog shows. Critics love it because of its appealing, quirky premise and brilliantly talented cast, which of course includes Schitt's Creek, Eugene Levy, and his eyebrows, and Catherine O'Hara doing some of their finest and funniest work. The 90 Minute Best in Show is an easy watch, so if you want other Christopher Guest films starring these two, check out Waiting for Guffman, A Mighty Wind, and For Your Consideration. And finally, for our editor's pick, we think it's worth checking out Arrested Development. Just like Schitt's Creek, this show hilariously follows a family dealing with life after financial ruin. Not only did it revive Jason Bateman's career, but Arrested Development also helped make household names out of people like Michael Cera and Will Arnett. And the critics called it a brilliantly fast-paced spin on dysfunctional family comedy. There are just five seasons. The final two seasons actually came 13 years after the first three. And it'll only take about 31 hours to get through them all, and it is well worth your time. All right, guys, hopefully this will help get you through your next few binge sessions. Be sure to check back for more recommendations and ideas based around the shows that you love right here on the Rotten Tomatoes Binge Guide. I'll be right here on my couch.